Hello and welcome to this CUBE conversation. We're really unpacking what's going on in the ecosystem around VMware and around you know, the entire virtualization and Kubernetes and trying to help understand what's been going on. I, I think one of the things that's really been exciting has been uh, you know, the announced acquisition of Morpheus by HPE and today, I'm so lucky to be joined by Brad Parks from Morpheus and Hong Tan from HPE to really unpack this and help us get a better understanding of why, why this came together and you know, what's been going on, because I, I think, again, it, it's so exciting to see the optionality and what people are looking to do as they look for that control plane that helps them with their virtualized, their container, and their cloud environments. So let's kind of jump into it a little bit, Brad, and kind of, for those who aren't familiar with Morpheus, why don't you unpack in a little bit what Morpheus is about? Sure, yeah, it's not just the character from the Matrix. In fact, <laughs> if you haven't heard of us, we've, we've been around <laughs> since, uh, since about 2015, um, and, and our goal really is to simplify the consumption of IT, and if we think about that, the big consumers of IT inside big enterprises are often project teams, database analysts, application developers who need to very quickly spin up new application services. So we connect the VMware, you know, Nutanix, KVM, all the private cloud choices, as well as all the public cloud endpoints, provide that unified orchestration plane for provisioning, for governance and guardrails, but also for financial chargeback, showback, and optimization. So end to end across uh, hybrid IT. So more than just a FinOps tool, because I know you guys won an award and yeah. fi <laughs> you know, fi figure prominently in FinOps as well, which yeah. we've talked about yeah. before and I've heard from your customers, again, great TCO uh, about using Morpheus, but you know, VMware's a big partner of yours as Absolutely. well. And how, do, how does that really play in that ecosystem as well? Yeah, we, we love VMware. Uh, we've actually won best of VMware, best of VM world multiple times for yeah. hybrid cloud orchestration. So key partner. But as we look at the application landscape, right? You mentioned it earlier. People are, are really embracing best of breed technologies for their VM-based workloads, their container-based workloads, their cloud-managed PaaS workloads, things like AI, right? They want to take advantage of the right platform and the right tooling for those workloads, which means you need a consistent control plane, otherwise you're just bouncing between all of those underlying platforms. So specific here at the event, we're talking to a lot of customers about how we can enable a VMware private cloud, uh, but obviously with, uh, with those different workload choices, they're also exploring other on-premises strategies and their adoption of public cloud, which means it's a great time to be that common uh, universal translator across all of those options. Yeah, and, and we, we see that as well. I mean, the optionality and things of that nature. But this is pretty big news, and so Hong, what really drove you guys to make this move to acquire Morpheus? Yeah, and uh, we're obviously very excited to have Morpheus join the HPE family. Um, I mean, I, I think uh, Morpheus has been a long-term technology partner, so we, we, we really like their IP. We've embedded it into our private cloud uh, offerings. We have a lot of joint customers, so we know the IP, we know the team really well. Um, but what really kind of drove this decision is really, like Brad said, right, looking at the end-to-end -end landscape and, and really understanding that the customer's environments are increasingly more heterogeneous. Um, if not done in the right way, that heterogeneity leads to fragmentation and siloed management, right? So we really wanted to have this capability where you deliver a unified management capability that allow you to orchestrate your workloads across all of your estate, right? So we felt like, um, especially with, you know, faster adoption of cloud native, and now with AI, um, this is the right time to, to bring in that um, orchestration layer in-house and then really double down on that capability. No, I, I think that makes total sense, and I, I think again, I, you know, having been at Discover just recently, yeah. and a lot of the announcements around the private cloud and private, you know, the NVIDIA computing for uh, by HPE for yes. AI, uh, a lot of this really interesting stuff between private and hybrid cloud strategies. In, in, in fact, even announcing your own KVM stack you know, yeah. with, under, based on Ubuntu. There, I mean, I, I think this this would seem like a really good fit for that private and hybrid strategy that HP has. Oh, absolutely, and, and, and uh, you know, let's just talk about AI. I mean, uh, we've always said, 
AI is the ultimate hybrid workload, right? In terms of, because all it's it, your data is distributed, whether you're doing training, fine tuning, RAG, or inference, all of that workloads are, you know, it could be in the public cloud, on-prem, colo, or at the edge. And so, uh, it really takes someone like HPE to bring it all together. We, we, you know, we have the compute storage, we also have the networking, not only at the data center edge, but also wide area networking. Um, and so we're really that company that can stitch all that together and then having that orchestration layer really makes everything, uh, you know, really stitch all that together in a seamless way. Uh, so we think, we think this is really a, a complementary and, and enabling technology for AI. So what makes you excited about really going back to yeah. HPE with Morpheus this time and bringing this technology there? Yeah, I uh, yeah, couldn't be more excited to, to rejoin the, the HPE family. And, and I think one of the things that led me to Morpheus in the first place actually was their origin story, right? It was created by a team of DevOps engineers who were modernizing applications for dozens of companies. They actually built the platform to get their job done. And it was only after a few years that they, we decided to kind of bear it out as a standalone entity. And if I look at HPE, I've always loved that, that engineering heritage, right? I mean, it, it really is where geeks go to just build cool things and right, to help customers. And so I think taking that pr practitioner focus and that engineering focus and driving that software platform innovation is, is going to be something that is, is only going to accelerate with more resources. And if you look at the other software assets that, that HPE has, has pulled together over the last couple of years, it's impressive and it is, it is going to enable a, a very seamless end-to-end -end process. Yeah, I, I think again, I, I look at it from you know, my analyst view and having been at HPE myself and other places and you know, Amazon and looking at how this actually pulls together a lot of different pieces and is, high, I, again, I looked at it as a highly uh, accretive to what was already going on in the GreenLake platform with ops ramp and some of the yeah, me me metrics and monitoring that's going on there. This would seem like you know, a win-win for the customers. How, how, how are customers feeling yeah. about this? Yeah, I've talked with a lot of customers here at the show and over the last couple of weeks, obviously, and, uh, and they're excited. We're going to continue to offer a standalone software option. We're going to maintain our agnostic view that has made us so successful over the last few years. And, and when I look at HPE, they, they have relationships with, with VMware, with Red Hat, with Microsoft, with SUSE. Those are the, the underlying you know, hypervisors and technology pieces that we already orchestrate. So I see it uh, only, you know, only increasing in velocity over the coming year. Yeah, and I, I think that to me it really speaks well from that perspective. And I think that you know the platform ops operations space is really evolving. I, I think it's evolving even quicker now with some of the moves that Hoctan has made with VMware and the focus that VCF, that path that VCF is on. How do you see? the platform operation space evolving over the next couple of years. Yeah, Morpheus plus VCF is uh, you know, probably one of our biggest uh, attach points, right? We turn that VMware stack into a, a true private and hybrid cloud while also providing customers with choice to embrace other technologies for different workloads. So it, it's win-win for them, win-win for everybody. Um, I think, um, as Hong mentioned, um, with AI you know, obviously increasing, uh, there's a, more and more of a need to orchestrate provisioning of infrastructure for those workloads, whether it's out at the edge, you know, in the data center, at Colo, or in the public cloud. So uh, it's, a, it's a good time to be the orchestrator of, uh, of all those tools. And I think one of our, one of our shared old bosses, Tom Joyce, uh, once told me, simple always wins, yeah. right? Um, it takes a lot of engineering to make something simple from an end user customer perspective, but that is where we've been focused to help developers get a simple way to provision those workloads into the right locations, and to help operators simplify you know, how they deal with that heterogeneity. Yeah, and, and Hong, I, same question kind of to bring it back around. How, how have you been hearing from HPE's customers about the acquisition of Morpheus, and how are they feeling? They're, uh, you know, we talk to customers, partners, uh, we talk to our field and, and analysts, and um, <clears throat> the feedback has been tremendous. You know, we, we try to, you know, we, we, we explain the acquisition, why we do it, and you know, a couple of minutes in, they're like, we get it. Yeah. Like, you know, because it just makes so much sense. And, um, and, and it also, because it, you know, this is not, this is a long time coming, right? If you, you already mentioned some of the assets we already have. It is so complementary to everything that we have. If you think about what it means to operate a hybrid cloud, it's about discover, monitor, 
provision, protect, you know, all of those things. And Morpheus slots right in alongside OpsRamp, what we have with Zerto, what we already have with the Greenly platform. So very people, very quickly, people understand that, you know, not only are they going to get um, the scale and the R&D investment to, to continue to drive innovation into Morpheus, but then now they're going to have access to a much broader set of capabilities in a much more integrated way. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, the value prop is is very obvious to our customers. Yeah, I mean, we're, what we're hearing even from today and at you know, Explore and all of this and from the VMware community and beyond, and you know, the Kubernetes community, we do a lot with the CNCF, is that, you know, again, to your point about, you know, Tom Joyce is probably clapping <laughs> off on his boat somewhere <laughs> off the coast of Maine or something like that, but you start to look at it, simple does win, and I, I think this is a piece that I think really does help, it seems like, HPE help to, you know, manage you know, from a DevOps perspective, optimize, but it's also the fact that, you know, not only integration with Zerto, but there's other third parties as oh, yeah, well yeah. that it's integrated, that are partners of uh, HPEs as well. Do you see that as also helping your ecosystem as well? Oh, yeah, absolutely, and, and um, <clears throat> you know, the reality is that, you know, people talk about transformation, they want to they wanna adopt a cloud operating model. That, that private cloud still has to interface with an existing brownfield environment, right? And, and so those integrations that Morpheus brings are incredibly important and, um, you know, and, and we've been always very clear, right? HPE, HPE GreenLake is all about multi-vendor, multi-cloud uh, and customer choice. So a big part of that is the, that third party integration. And so we will continue to like stay true to that commitment. Yeah, and I, I think again, that to me is when you start to look around and what people are doing here, we, we don't, we don't by no uh, measure think VMware is dead or anything like that. I think in fact, Hawk is doing exactly what he said he was going to do and really focusing, and they're focusing their innovation. I, I liked the, how they talked about uh, having SSO, you know, single sign on across all the products. It hadn't even crossed my mind, but it would seem like this also, the Morpheus acquisition, helps kind of knit things together across the HPE ecosystem as well. Yeah, I think HP's partner ecosystem from a vendor landscape perspective is second to none, and I think what, what has made us successful and what has made private cloud so difficult to enable is, it's not just your hypervisor, right? It's your IP address management, your DNS, your load balancers, your networking stack, your storage, your you know, observability, your backup. Exactly. Our ability to integrate with dozens of technologies the extensibility of our platform, and it's what separates a, a tool from a platform, right? We have service integration modules for every piece of that hybrid IT stack. We've already built integrations with dozens of providers, um, and those are the, the same partners that HP already has. So it, it takes that heterogeneous mess that is on-prem that we all know and love, um, and and tries to help simplify it and orchestrate the handoffs. Yeah, I, I, I love that heterogeneous mess, that <laughs> like an orchestration. But I, I think yeah. to your point. Call a spade a spade. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah. I think everybody, you know, we, we talk about it a lot. It's, you know, silos aren't going away. It's how you manage across those exactly. silos yeah. and how you bring them together in, in one way or another. And I, I think, again, this, this is, I mean, I, I said it, I love this acquisition. I thought it made a lot of sense for HPE. I thought it was, especially at the timing with what's going on in the market, I think this makes a lot of sense. So, you know, thank you both for coming on board and you know, helping talk through this and explain to people uh, why, why now and why here. So uh, thanks for coming on board. Yeah, thanks, thanks for having us. Yeah. And thank you for watching this CUBE conversation. We'll be back with more, stay tuned. <laughs>